Hi, my name is Daisy Favor. If you're new here, karibu sana. If you're a subscriber, karibu tena sana. In today's video, we are going to be sharing different resources that will help you in your Christian work. So stay tuned. Number one resource you need, of course, is a Bible. It says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So there's no way you're, go you're going to grow in faith without the Bible, reading the Bible, learning truths of what God says in his word. And yes, you definitely need a Bible. There are so many versions these days. I love the NKJV the new king james version that is and also the new living translation but you can get any bible that you can read and understand that is the number one resource that you need number two is the U version bible app which is very helpful in so many ways let's open it up and have a look this is the home page. It has a place for a prayer list. How cool is that? Next, you can find so many Bible versions. These are the ones I have downloaded and commonly use. Next, devotional plans, and these are the ones I have downloaded. It keeps a track of the plans that you've completed. To get a plan, you click Find Plans. There are several that pop up anytime you do this. You can decide to look for a topic that you would love. Let's say you choose love. This is what it brings. Let's say you want to start on the Reckless Love plan. You'll click Start Plan. They'll ask you how you'd want to do the plan, either by yourself or with friends. They'll also ask about the level of privacy, choose as you wish. After that, you can access your plan and you can do it offline. If you really loved a plan and you'd love to share it, like this one by Jackie Hill called Jude, you can click on the three dots up there and share via whatever platform you would love to. Another advantage is that you can find footnotes there and the good thing with scripture is that scripture answers scripture just like this one from a physical bible and that way you can refer to the scripture noted in the footnote and learn more about the context. Finally on the more sector this is what you'll find. All your highlights, events, prayer lists, images, bookmarks, verse of the day, and all of that good stuff. So that's it for the Bible app. If you would want me to do a video on the different awesome devotionals that you can do, please let me know. The other thing that has really become common is the podcast. Yes, there are different shows that you can listen to. Uh, let me show you how I do that. This is the app that I use. As it opens up, don't forget to subscribe down below. This is how it looks. So you search for whatever show or topic or podcast you would love. Yes, and these are my current subscriptions as you can see. Yes. I love, love life with the Lindsay's and as for me and my house and with the Perry's. I don't know, I've not yet subscribed, but I've listened to their podcast on toxic friendships and it's really, really good. You can look for it and check them out. They're good. So those are my current favorite ones. If you have any other, please list them in the comment section below so that we can all have an idea and check them out. Number four, we have YouTubers. There are so many Christian YouTubers that you can find. 
I know there are those that you follow and I must say that you need to be very careful on this as much as there are people who are pouring into our hearts we need to go back to the word and that is why it's number one you need to be as the Berean church and learn and go back to the word and learn the truths by ourselves confirming if this is what the word says you know you can just take someone's word for it and start living by it if you're not you don't even know if it's from the word of god or not that is why the bible is always number one so there are different youtubers that i personally love heather lindsay for the guys you can check out cornelia's lindsay he has very good teachings for the guys heather lindsay has very good teachings for the ladies another christian youtuber i love is caroline roberts Yes, she has really good faith videos and a bonus is that she also has free resources once in a while from her description box. Yes, so that's that's a plus. You can check her out. Another one who has free resources is Morgan Tracy J and she's really good. She has she also has free resources that you can download and learn from and another one is coffee and bible time ashley and taylor they are two girls who also have free resources once in a while from their videos you can go check them out another youtuber okay there are so many i think i won't mention all of them let me mention the two that i know of who are based in kenya we have Julie Wangoi and her channel is The Millennial Christian. You can go check her out. And another one is Valentina Ayuko. I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing it straight. And her channel is Christ's Affection. She really has good videos too. And there are so many others probably that you know of and you love. Please mention them in the comment section below so that we can also check them out. And of course, the other Kenyan YouTuber I know of that you should subscribe to if you've not is this girl over here, Daisy Favor. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be majorly doing faith videos, other things here and there, but majorly faith videos. So subscribe. Of course, we can't fail to talk about the different Christian literature that is there. We have so many Christian books that you can find. And yes, they are really good that can give you good insights. You can find topical, like in a certain topic. Uh, there are those books that talk about prayers. Uh, like the one I've read is Fervent by Priscilla Shire. I've also read... Prayer of Jabez by Charles Pajon, which is really good. I'm also about to read The Praying Woman or The Prayerful Woman, I'm not sure, by Stomy Omashan. And yes, you can read those books that, that expose on different topics. Others, yes, actually most of them normally have a theme that they revolve around, so... Yes, you can read different Christian books. Another one that I'm really loving, I'm almost through with it, is Ordering Your Private World. Hey, that book, that book is really good. You need to check it out if you haven't. It's a good one. And whichever one, Secrets of Fascinating Womanhood. Let me not even talk about that one right now. But there are so many Christian books that you can find and read. And as I said earlier, the number one thing is the Bible. So some books, you know, it's just people's opinion. Others are, of course, led by the Holy Spirit and referring to scriptures, which is very good. So even as you read, ask the Lord to help you uh, as you do that, that you may get what is true. And it's always good to compare with the word of God. Now, uh, there are other two apps that I use, which are not really books or podcasts or the Bible, and that is the dictionary and Google, of course, because there are some words you may not understand, especially if you're reading KJV or whichever version, and I'm sure we don't know all 
the words that are there in the world so you may find a word that you're not sure of the meaning and you want to understand it in its context so i use the dictionary for that or sometimes i would love to go to google and check out the hebrew meaning or the greek you know the original the original words so that i may understand the context well and it's always good to do that it's always good also to compare different versions to learn what if maybe you don't understand a certain chapter or verse or anything you can go to google and check out different articles written by different people and you can get more insight on the same that's it for today i hope you've been blessed and god loves you so much remember that and his desire is that you draw near to him as the word says draw near to me and i'll draw near to you so those are some of the things that will help you draw near to god and i hope to engage with you in the comment section below or even through my instagram which i will leave in the description box share with me share with me what are some of the helpful resources that you're using to grow in faith and yes that's it god loves you so much uh, i pray that you may have joy and peace within you and may god see you through in whatever you may need don't forget to subscribe bye